we have our special guest this week. Special guest star? What do you want to call yourself? Special uh, guest, guest? Let, let's say guest. Super special guest. Super special guest, Chris, who's joining us for, the, for this week. Um, got some interesting... Some fun things to talk about. Some mm-hmm. things that were um, that I, I think were kind of bland, but that's just me. Nintendo had a Nintendo Direct this week as they, they do their own thing. They don't go to conventions anymore. And it was also the first post-Iwata Direct yes. because since he passed, we've, we've not had one. Mm-hmm. And they've said, it's, it's coming, we're going to do it. Talk we'll get to that it. afterwards, yeah. yeah. But uh, the big news is this game right here, Fallout. This game right here. So Fallout... Of course, it's breaking a lot of a lot of records, doing really well. But one of the interesting ones was uh, that Fallout hit uh, thirty nine, uh, three hundred and ninety thousand concurrent Steam uh, players, and the Twitch yeah. was just ev- everyone was playing Fallout. Yeah, everyone. Um, so, but it's it's interesting because like Twitch is like they don't they don't release a lot of their of their stats. Yeah. But uh, Steam is willing to say here here's some interesting stats, and with that we can correlate data because. Yeah. Um, Fallout broke the new record for concurrent users. Yep. Um, the previous record had been uh, GTA V, mm-hmm. which had replaced Skyrim. And so I think I think it's kind of fun, especially that you know they got trumped, but they haven't released anything yeah. since then, since and Skyrim. they can come back on top. <laughs> and and it'll it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. Uh, especially if uh, Rocksteady or Rockstar rather um, decides to put out Red Dead Two in the interim. Yeah, which I'm sure they will. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that they do. Uh, it's going to take a while for them to do another Elder Scrolls game. So uh, if they are currently working on that, the, the production time on that takes you know five years or, or more. Yeah. Um, so I think it's going to be a while before we get that, maybe a couple years before we get that. If we can get a Red Dead in between, then yeah. it, that would be really nice. And I think uh, when Rimmel was that, GTA 6 won't be until 2020. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and GTA 5 was the last actual game they did. Yeah. They have to have some money flow in between. Sure, sure. Some something in the gap there. Yeah, um, and, and not that Red Dead is like, oh, it's just a fill a what level, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys haven't played Red Dead Redemption, it's fantastic. The, even the um, even the Undead Nightmare. I don't know if you, did you play Undead Nightmare. Yeah, it was a fun. It was it was really fun. Yeah, it didn't feel like filler. It didn't feel like they were saying, oh, we're just going to do zombies just to do zombies. It it was kind of its own standalone bit of the story, kind of a what if. Uh, part of the story, but I, I really liked it. Yeah, Red Dead is one of those that uh, I, I'm aware of. I know there's a thing about Mexico that that part is apparently cool, but it's like there was there was a gap um, during during my courtship that I didn't get to play a whole lot of games, yeah. um, and and so like uh, Skyrim, Portal, and uh, Red Dead mm-hmm. are like the three big ones that I feel like I missed during that time. Portal you can do in about five hours. I don't want to. I think it's worth it. I think it's I, it's puzzles. It's fun. I don't want to play no. puzzles. It's, a, it's physics physics puzzles. I'm playing enough puzzles for the roundup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I've got all the puzzles I need. Okay, well, I'll put it on the list. Put it on the list. <laughs> uh, that's on your backlog. Wow. That's on your backlog. <laughs> it, Portal, it, it, two, okay. Portal two is decent, but Portal Portal you, you can get through in an in, in an afternoon. Yeah. And okay. It's yeah. All right. Well, I mean, if if I get the opportunity to play it on on PS4, then <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Nope. <laughs> so the next thing that we <laughs> have, the next thing that we have is uh, Activision has announced that they're going to create a, a Call of Duty cinematic universe. <laughs> um, and the the the, the best because it, there's there's been a lot of yeah. you know horrible names floating around sure. the internet, but uh, but my favorite one is is Movie of Duty. Movie of Duty. <laughs> That's great, <laughs> and, and so that's that's just what this universe is going to be, and that's so. Feel free to spread that. That's this is this is the worst idea. Um, this is almost a, this is one of the worst ideas when it comes to video game uh, crossover uh, into 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 movies. Um, is it though? Because I feel like that if if they're if they're taking a bro shooter and turning it into a summer blockbuster, it's whatever, just a Michael Bay movie. It right. is. That's all it is. And Actually, it, they should totally have Michael Bay do it. Yeah. And, if and, they have Michael Bay do it, it's going to be... It's, but, it, but you it can slap that. that Call of Duty on anything. You can and slap that's... Call of Duty onto... I saw someone uh, recently did a, was, was joking about this. They were talking about it, um, and as they were talking about it, they were showing the uh, trailer for the new Michael Bay movie for Benghazi. Uh-huh. 
and they jokingly said, "This is a trailer for the for a new Call of Duty game." And they're like, and and then afterwards said, "You you you wouldn't have known the difference if that actually yeah. was. It doesn't matter." And see, that's the thing is because like with with very few exceptions, mm-hmm. mostly the block series, yeah. Call of Duty is just a thing, and I mean they don't care about the story anymore, so it can just be explosions, and we pour uh, millions of dollars. That's into what it, it is. When you get the three sixty or PS three version with no story, you go watch the <laughs> theater. <laughs> So, there you go. So it's essentially all the cutscenes that would be in the movie. Yeah, right, exactly. Right in there. So all the story that I but wish can you watch them in any order you want? Because <laughs> <laughs> apparently you can play it in any order. Yeah. Um, so so that's that's just the thing that we wanted you to be aware of, and and, and I feel like you should take it with a grain of salt. Like, the if you think back of how many video game series, they'll at some point they say we'll make a movie of this, and Tomb then Raider, how many yeah. actually come up to? Oh, that's true. Yeah. How many actually come out? Yeah. I mean, at one point they're like Mass Effect movie, and also Metal Gear <laughs> movie, and they never come out. I would like a Mass Effect movie. Mass Effect is as I want a Mass Effect TV show. That that would be that would be even better. Um, yeah. I mean, the way I would do it is kind of like Deep Space Nine um, for any of you Trekkies out there, because Deep Space Nine has a lot, and I think Mass Effect took a lot of this. Uh, Deep Space Nine has a lot of the uh, the interpersonal um, uh, stories and the. Uh, interspecies kind of ideas and different cultures, and that's what Mass Effect does really well. Is you you run into into these different uh, races of, of aliens, and they have their own unique way of they handle they handle uh, economy or they way they handle um, uh, male you know, gender roles and and different things that could be really cool to do as a, as a TV series. I could also see it done kind of like a battle stalk. Okay, uh, maybe like when Ulf was being attacked. Mm-hmm. Someone escaped and maybe they'll be hunted down afterwards or something yeah. like that. And they run across other species through that. You could do that. Yeah. Like take place during the time frame of Mass Effect 3. It could work. Yeah, it could work. I think there's lots of ways you could do it. Yeah. I mean, that, that universe is so it's broad that it's yeah. to be able to And we're going to, I was going to say, they, they did the thing for um, the November 7th. They put out a quasi teaser, not really a teaser, yeah. Yeah. Uh, with Femship, um, which. Was kind of cool, but at the same time, uh, I think a lot of people are speculating that's the last time we'll hear her, hear Femshep, new stuff from from her. Um, yeah, and, and it's except for in Fallout because she voices the female character in Fallout, <laughs> which yeah. is which is actually why I chose to play a female character in Fallout because her her correction. Sorry, she plays Jax in Fall in, in Mass Effect. I apologize. There's my correction right there, but it's okay because she was awesome. Okay, well, the, the, the person playing the, the, the Fallout female. character yeah. is, is also really awesome. Oh, she's great, I, yeah. I like her a lot. Yeah, she played Jack in uh, Mass Effect 2. Yeah, and okay. who's who's a very tortured kind of uh, character. Pretty cool mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, another bit of news was, uh, so DNA is doing all the, they're doing all the, all the smartphone stuff from, um, or a lot in, of... In, a, in association. They're, yeah. I, I think they're they're basically doing it with Nintendo supervision. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is is the way I understand the yeah. relationship. And they haven't all... been terribly forthcoming because of Japan. Yeah. But, but they, they are saying, this is, this is our association, this is who's helping us do it, and I think it's probably closer to the other way around. And it's going to be all free-to-play um, mobile games. Which I think is a smart bit for them, in my opinion. Um, I think that Nintendo realizes this is another bit of the market. The P- and some people were worried that mobile gaming was going to take over handheld gaming, and as, as to an extent. Um, but it's taken over a lot of the casuals. So mm-hmm. the people who are casual handheld gamers um, can now play it on their cell phones. The people who are who are and I'm, I, I'm not doing disservice to those people. They still. You still have a lot of people who play a lot. You still have a lot of people who pay a lot, mm-hmm. which is what they're hedging on at this point. Yeah, well, totally. um, one one thing that I'm hoping that they do is like because um, there there are several companies that will put out a free to play game mm-hmm. and they'd be like, hey, you can buy extra lives or whatever. But they also offer like a ten or fifteen dollar. You just get the game. Yeah, and I'm really hoping that that's what Nintendo does because I'm willing to to pay them for a smartphone game that is that is at yes. Nintendo levels of quality. Yes. And if that's if that's what they're giving us, mm-hmm. I will happily pay the ten dollars. Yeah. And but if I'm going to be nickeled and dimed the whole time, yeah. I love you, Nintendo. But <laughs> no. And and to another extent, one thing that Fallout Shelter did really well was here's a free game. Mm-hmm. You can you can buy stuff if you want, but it really doesn't help you that much. It's not pay to win. Yeah. You'd have to pour in so much money on that game, <laughs> and it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah. 
uh, as opposed to like uh, Clash of Clans or those kind of games, which um, uh, I guess it's kind of like the, the whole Candy Crush kind of thing, yeah, which is another, another bit, model. with the business model of, you can play this for free, or you can give us a couple bucks and, and get some extra moves and get a, um, what is it, the lollipop sledgehammer thing. Um, did you did you see the Colbert? Yes. Yes. Okay. I loved it. Did you see this? Well, not so, so bad. So, so Colbert. <laughs> watch it. Just watch it, because I will show it here. Uh, it, the, it, it is... Um, it is wonderful. It is Colbert's take on the cinematic universe of Candy Crush. Oh, this has got to be awesome. With Liam Neeson. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> So back, back to video games. Um, we called this before, We've I think everyone's called this, uh, Xbox One is out selling the PS4. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. there, for, uh, for, it has for at least a month. For at yeah. least a month. <laughs> and probably it's, well through the holidays. It's going to continue through the holidays. It's going to continue until maybe around February or so. When of Uncharted 4 drops. Yes, Uncharted 4. Um, and the reason is because um, Xbox has exclusives that are coming out. Halo 5. They've also and gotten a little bit of distance from the whole 1080p, 60 frames per second debacle that was at the beginning. Yeah. Because they, they had their software engineers, like, I, I don't know how many hours those people worked, but I, I don't think they got to go home until they fixed it. <laughs> and and they've, they've, they've really enhanced the yes. experience. Yeah. It's still... It's it's closer to PS4 on on most games. They're getting closer. Mm -hmm. There's still some differences. If you looked at Call of Duty, uh, I think it was around it was 920 instead of 1080. Um, yeah. The frame rate was there though. Yeah. Uh, frame rate dro are, is dropping a little bit in Fallout 4, which is going to be patched. Um, yeah. Well, there's yeah. there's I've I've encountered a bit of janky in uh, on PS4 too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, like if, 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 PS4 if, has been the, the struggling one actually on Fallout. Yeah, uh, Xbox is doing better than 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 uh, PS4 in regards to that. I have my own inklings on that, uh, my own uh, feelings on why that's going on. Uh, I'd like to jump in real quick. I yeah. guess. Um So I got really give it out to Microsoft's software development team. Mm -hmm. They've been doing tons of stuff like the backwards compatibility, increase the performance of the machine. Yes, <clears throat> and I love Sony. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. Yeah. But I feel like Microsoft's development team mm -hmm. is just doing way better. I don't know if that's because Microsoft, at its whole, is a software company, and they have some of the best software developers. Period. And you know, Sony, yes, they have some software developers, mm -hmm. but traditionally, it's a whole world company. Yes. And I'm wondering if that has how much that to do with it. They can tap people who design all kinds of other software, way more complex, database management stuff, yeah. Office, Windows. They can, I'm, I'm curious if they'll pull the people in or go in to get advice. I think they are because you have you have things in regards to the, to its architecture that that Xbox and Microsoft uh, said, okay, this is a problem. We're solving it now. Yeah, now, now maybe in a couple months, but they solved but, it. Yeah, they solved as it. opposed to Sony, which is, which still you cannot change your username mm -hmm. in in that. And I think because it's not one of their fo one of their focuses. Sony's focuses have been hardware and games because mm -hmm. the Sony Entertainment game right. division. Um, and you have this gap of uh, the the UI and other and they're getting better with communities and every, and everything. But um, you have this gap of, of some things that Sony's not doing as well as Microsoft uh, online play for a long time. Mm -hmm. Online play suffered in PS the PS3 the the seventh generation era. Um, online play uh, suffered because of that because so it wasn't a huge thing for Sony to do. It wasn't in their foray. But I think you're right. I think they tap. Microsoft says, "All right, we're gonna we're gonna have you pull onto this project." I wouldn't doubt that they do that. Yeah. Or at least they have people higher up that say, "Okay, how can we do this better?" Before we leave, um, two other elements yeah. that I think are are pushing Microsoft. First off, is the the change in leadership because Matrick was still in charge when they did the announcement that just fell. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I I don't think Phil Spencer took over like. The, the total charge until shortly after the Xbox launch. Yeah. But that dude knows what he's doing and knows what we want and is making every effort to yeah. give it to us. Yeah. The other thing that we're seeing here is Microsoft is, for the first time in a very long time, coming from behind. Yes. And whoever whoever it is that is at a disadvantage or seen as the weaker mm -hmm. is going to step up their game mm -hmm. and figure out a way to to put themselves, push themselves further. You're right. There's more pressure on them. And I think that they are that they are thriving mm -hmm. in that pressure, and I, I I applaud them for yeah. that. This is the first time since the Xbox 360 that they're in this position. The Xbox One's the third console that they've mm -hmm. ever done. The first one being the Xbox, the original Xbox, 
and I think they had a, I want to say it's a 20% market share or something like that of that generation. It was, it was pretty PS2 cool. swamped it was, everyone. PS, PS2 swamped everything and everyone during that. Uh, they, they beat uh, GameCube, they beat uh, Xbox and um, Dreamcast, was that? No, Dreamcast Dream, was No, Saturn. Dreamcast. No, Saturn, Dream, Saturn and Dreamcast, because I remember I remember the dorm room where we had all the machines, yeah. Yeah. and it was PS2, Dreamcast, Saturn. Dreamcast yeah. was dead by the time well, it came out, though. Dreamcast was dead. And, and, <laughs> well, they had they had the market share for, I want to say, uh, 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 almost a year before mm-hmm. the PS, PS2 came out. Yep. Mm-hmm. And they, they were doing really well. But then the PS2 came out and free DVD player. You have free DVD player, <laughs> and it was it for a lot of a lot of places that was the same price, if not cheaper, of a DVD player than if you went and got a Panasonic or if you went and got anything anything else. There's a famous, and I, I always forget the name of it. There's a specific place in, in Tokyo that is that is all electronics. That's that's pretty much just an, a street full of electronic stores. Yeah, I and, remember. Yeah, it, when it was you know did video video games and electronics. And all of a sudden, you had these places that were, they had a PS2 there playing DVDs, mm-hmm. and and that was that was the selling point. People were buying PS2s to say, I need a DVD player, I guess I'll buy a new gaming system while yeah. I'm at it. I think they did what Nintendo did with the next gen, with the, the, the Wii of saying, let's grab casuals, the, the similar type mm-hmm. of people. I need a game system, I don't care what game system it is, and I'm also going to do this with it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, think, I think you're right, and... Um, Little side note there. Uh, I think he's doing he's doing a great job, but I, I wish that Phil Spencer would get his act together. He's he's like a fanboy of Xbox. I think he's doing better now, um, but I thought he was going to end up like Reggie uh, for the Nintendo side because where where they just refuse to acknowledge that other consoles exist. exist. That's yeah, what that's, he was, that's he, a problem. He is doing he's doing better now. I apologize. He's doing better now, but every time I hear his name, I think of interviews when. They were talking about um, when they first announced the Xbox One. Like it's going to be online only. You're going to have if you take it offline, you got 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Um, if you bring your game to a friend's house, you have I think they were saying four hours mm-hmm. to play that game. So if I brought over and said, "Hey, you have to see Fallout 4. Put it into your game system. You got four hours to play it." He went off on some of the interviews. Like uh, Angry Joe had did an interview with him, and he just he went off because Angry Joe was like, "Hey." There's got to be a way to turn this thing around and not do it online only. And he just goes off. He's like, you really, un- you understand the architecture? Do you know it better than us? And it turned out, did. Angry Joe <laughs> did. He knew it better than, than Phil Spencer did. Um, but anyways, enough, enough of that rant. The Xbox One update did come out. Yes. And, and we like it. And I actually, I really like it. I think there's some, some room for improvement. You haven't, you haven't installed it yet? or I've, I have not. It's I've been playing Metal Gear Solid 5 on PS4. On PS4, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It, it installed automatically for me, and I like it for the most part. Um, but one thing that I really did, I, the, the layout is, um, it's it's less of a user-friendly toggle, kind of the 360 bit, which is, Xbox One was very much similar to that, mm-hmm. where you had you know, different tiers, as it were, of, of uh, your main screen, the things that you've pinned, your store. It was Windows 8 full Xbox. Yeah, you toggle between those, and in within those, you have different things to select. This is this is more uh, vertical. It's like Windows 10, then, it, kind of? It's more, it's more like that. It's, it's so it's... And splash screen? You have a splash bit. You know, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I have Windows 10. I have well. Windows 10. I'm Come trying on, to. <laughs> it's more. It's more vertical. Yeah, Windows it's toggling more, between stuff. Yeah, Windows 10 is very tile based, though, yeah. but it goes vertical it's rather a, than horizontal. It, it, it may be then. I, I while I have Windows 10 here, I'm using it as a. I'm using the complete desktop mode. Yeah. Um, but it's it's vertical, so you have you have your splash of okay, this is what you played last. Here's some of the things that you played recently. <laughs> Further down than that, they have. Uh, it looks like they've combined uh, all their video stuff, kind of like PlayStation does. All of your video uh, streaming streaming is is within one. Uh, I think it's within one guide now, nice. if my memory is correct. So um, all of that is categorized there. Um, to get to things previously, you could pin. This is the only gripe that I have. Previously, you could pin your favorites, and when as soon as you started up, you could toggle to the left real quick and then pick out one of your favorites. So uh, if you want, if you one of your favorites was a game that you've been playing a lot, um, should be on the bottom. Anyways, you've been playing a lot. But uh, if there's a specific app that you want to get to, all of our streaming apps were in pinned as well as a couple other things. Um, now you have to you have to if you haven't played it in a while, you have to go into the apps uh, apps or games section select either apps or games and then find it and it's a little harder than um actually playstation where it's just a big list okay uh 
I would encourage anyone who, who has updated to to go and check out. Their, they actually put out a doc that has like the new shortcuts and things. Yeah. One of the shortcuts that they added is for pins. If you hit either the left trigger or the left mm -hmm. bumper, it, it jumps to it? your. It, no, it jumps to your pins. Okay. Cool. No. So. And okay. so and so and so like I you said, you said you you hit left before. Now you hit. Now so you, it's, it's a different it's, button. But it's still. But the same it's the same functionality. Cool. Okay. And but, so yeah. yeah. Any so, anytime there's a software update, and you can't find stuff. Look, look at the, the documents. Docs, yeah. yeah, and and I, I honestly I didn't I, I jumped in started looking at things kind of like that's what I usually do and, and work and and play. Yeah, it's like eh, documents don't care. Um, jump in. I use documents as a reference. Um, yeah, if if you, so if you can't figure it out, on I your look own, in the document look as, as a reference. Well, but that yeah. that also allows you to um, like if you're if you're learning it organically. Yeah. Then, then that allows you to to get used to it as you do it, yes. instead of looking at a document and being like, "Well, I don't, I don't like doing it that I also way," want to and trying that. to trying to make it yeah. like it was before, because that's not going to work. And the so I say sometimes it's handy to look at the document, but sometimes mm -hmm. there might be a feature or something that they release really quietly. That because when they Xbox One, you know, you could, they'll come out. Oh, you can now remap all of your controls buttons yeah and people were like oh someone needs to do that and and i was like you can't it was released like <laughs> it's, uh, it's been six there. nine months ago and like well is this on the accessibility it's just because sony viewed it as it's something for if you have a handicap something maybe you don't you're missing a finger or yep. but they released it quietly because they didn't think it'd be a big deal yeah but, yeah and apparently it was big enough yeah one thing i do like about the 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 update though when they first announced backwards compatibility with xbox one uh, the way that it worked, if you were in their trial program, was you had to, um, I, I, there's a specific way to get into the other menu, uh, mm -hmm. similar to how you do it with the Wii U if you want to go, if you want to you know, dual boot or the Wii. Yeah. Not that way in the Xbox, though. Really? So nice. if you go in, uh, if, you, if, you've, if you have it now, if you had a 360, go into your games, you go all the way to the right, and it'll show you what you could download. There's a section in there that says, okay, this stuff isn't downloaded on here, but you could download it. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation doesn't do that. PlayStation just says, here's everything. Yeah. Um, so uh, Xbox is like, okay, here's your, for me, it's like 30-some games that have all got downloaded that are, you can alphabetize however you want to do it, all the way over to the right, and then you see things you could download. It's just in there. So I downloaded Mass Effect. I downloaded uh, Fallout 3 um, oh, and Viva Pinata. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so last week I... I, I... Said that um, said said that they had the the 104 titles and it only went up to L. Um, that was actually on Microsoft's site. My source for that that is that is not accurate. <laughs> um, Mass Effect on it. It was Mass Effect is right, on Mass, there. Mass Effect and Viva Pinata <laughs> and like there there's a bunch that's on there. Yeah. But so so go go look at that list. It's it's been updated and yeah. now it's actually valid. I need to look at the list because what that will show you on there is what you have digital purchases. If okay. you have a physical game, it doesn't a, it doesn't show it there. You have to put right, a physical yeah. game in, right? And then so, and I, unless I missed it, I found it interesting. Halo one, two, and three are not on that list because nope. I think they want you to go buy the Master Chief collection. Yes, they and I have a suspicion. My gut feeling is anything else that doesn't have a collection like that because I don't think that they're going to. They want you to go buy it again. Yeah, if because possible. because Gears of Gears of War came over like the the entire series. Came Halo over the backwards backwards compatible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but Halo Halo. I think one Halo Spartan, did, Spartan Assault. I yeah, think. one Gears, of the ones. Gears doesn't have the collection out yet, does it? It, it doesn't have a collection. They did it, They did one remaster, yeah. but it, it wasn't Well, they have the, a collection coming series. out, though. They, yeah, they, yeah, 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 they yeah. allegedly... Yeah, so right, it but it's not out yet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I so. think that... Uh, oh, another, another bit that, that happened with the Xbox, which kind of goes along with what you were saying before, of them kind of... Did, not disregarding the Kinect, but kind of pushing it further back. <laughs> Gestures yeah. are, no, are no longer a thing. Yeah. Um, um, those, those if you are... used gestures, let me know in the comments because I never did. I use the voice commands a lot. Yeah, vo voice commands are useful, but but most of, most of what I heard, and I think this is this is kind of a, a it's kind of a catch twenty two mm -hmm. because there there weren't that many people that used it, and what I mostly heard is people, you know, if you're eating popcorn <laughs> while you're watching a movie, then it would be like, do you want to do a thing? And you're like, I'm eating pop. Yeah, no, I don't want to do a thing. I have that I'm enough so, when I talk. Yeah, every now and then, every now and then, maybe once a week, it'll it'll pause the pause the movie or it'll go to the home screen. And if I'm watching Netflix, it goes to the home well, screen. That's just, why you should just stop talking during movies. Anyway, so I feel like I feel like that. 
I mean, they have the data on this. Yeah. They know they would be able to see, okay, this is a user that uses, yeah. like mm -hmm. intentionally uses yeah. gestures. And I feel like that this is probably a case where those users were weighed against complaints that they received of it's doing this and I yeah. don't want it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure so what it is. Yeah, and so so this is this is another example of them listening. Yeah, yeah. And Which uh, I'm I'm okay with. Uh, I didn't use it. I'm sure there are a certain amount of people that you're gonna have the the uh, a vocal minority mm -hmm. in this because they're gonna be really upset. But hopefully they're not that upset because um, if you already have Connect, the voice commands on that are uh, the majority. Of what you're gonna do, you can you can toggle between like you can move around. It's always been janky. Yeah. Like if you're looking through your menus, and you're trying to toggle. It never works right. I just grab the remote. So, yeah. Or you can just tell it where you want to go. Mm -hmm. So Xbox, go to Netflix. Xbox, Xbox snap do a switch. Thing. And it does the thing for the most part. I feel like there's a remnant of the original Kinect, mm -hmm. which is they want it to be like the Wii. Yes. And they carried over that movement functionality to the Kinect. And I feel like when they did this one, at some point in all these final stages, they're mm -hmm. like, you know, we have to have this because we had it in the last one. Yeah, and then they when like you said they probably got the stats on it's like well you know one percent of all user base <laughs> uses it and we get twenty percent complaints each month on this yeah. let's just drop get rid it. of it yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and then the last thing is uh, for those for those who play with with inverted controls they they added that ability the problem is that um, instead of setting a default on the game what it does is it actually inverts it at a hardware state. Mm -hmm. Which means that if you're trying to zoom in on a map on Fallout and you have inverted controls, you're going to have to do it the other way, because it's switched the the inversion for everything. everything. I've I've been playing Fallout. I haven't seen inverted well, do you, do you, shooting. Do you play with normal or inverted? I play with normal. Okay, well because I'm a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not flying a plane. <laughs> Right. If I'm flying okay. a plane, I get it. But yeah. So there's a reason for those. That, that's why those controls exist. Yeah. But it, yeah. it is it is it is just a thing that I I found <laughs> rather entertaining. Yeah. So I haven't I haven't noticed it in the map. If I have to check it out now because I play normal. Where if I well go if, up, if you're playing normal up. and you haven't changed the setting you in, in the X one, yeah. you'd never know. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's not going to affect you, and I'm sorry if I freaked you out yeah. and. It's an option the, out though if you want to do it. For the for the I I'm gonna ballpark this and I'll look it up. Uh, for the twenty five or thirty percent, twenty five or thirty percent of people who actually play inverted, um, this will probably affect them. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think it's probably easier for most people to change it per game mm -hmm. yeah, than it, than it is to to learn a different thing because it, it's it's like if you if you mess with your fighting controls. And you know somebody you hand you're handed somebody else's controller or you hand your controller to somebody like it's just gonna just just learn to play normal yeah just play normal like a normal come on person. people if you're, the whole reason for inversion is and then and then we can find out with your stats how much of your uh, how much of our audience we've upset with that <laughs> <laughs> should be a pretty close Venn diagram yeah it should be but that's the Patrick's email address is <laughs> <laughs> no the. Um, the, the whole point of inversion, and the whole reason it's still in planes, is because originally, that's how you had to mechanically mm -hmm. bring the plane up or down. Um, that was a mechanical thing. It wasn't done by design. Same reason for yeah. this this QWERTY keyboard. It is exactly completely what I was bring done up. by it intentionally yes. inconvenient. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The QWERTY keyboard was designed to have certain letters that are used more spaced out further, so the mechanical components don't break down. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're Which still is using why E, it. the most common letter, is not on the home. Yeah, that's, that's just how that is. Yeah, it's it's way over here. Um, but that that's the whole reason we're still using this. Um, I've tried to I've tried to use one of the other ones. Um, oh, I get because that. I've because <laughs> yeah. I've been doing it. But, but the thing is that that we if, developed if they technology. Had type and if we can type well, on that, for, I'd be okay. Yeah. Um, but the technology for in regards to avi uh, avionics. That's been there since the late 70s or early 80s. Yeah. To be like, oh, oh, you don't have to do that. Here's a way to do it elsewhere. So you've had 35 years now <laughs> of people just going, eh. The keyboard, that was done a lot more recent than that because they continued to use that adapt adaptive, and I want to say it was early 90s or mid-90s, mid-90s, when they came out with the other keyboard. 
Do but, I, it's, right? but it's too yeah, it's too too late yeah. at this point. No, um, that's, you're not going to sell it. Yeah, you're not going you're not going to sell it. But in version, there's no reason for in video games unless you're playing a flight game and you want to be really accurate. Well, the PS <laughs> was it the PS3 at one point the keyboard digital keyboard was an alphabetical order. Yeah, and I, I remember that. And uh, the I and J were almost flipped as we saw it, <laughs> and they were both lowercase. And I kept getting my password wrong. I was like, oh, uh, "WTF?" And I was like, "Oh, uh, oh, that's a J." <laughs> <laughs> it's not where you used to see it. Nice. So um, I didn't, I didn't see this bit with Legacy of Kane fifty fifty. What was? Yes. What, okay. Going? Okay. So it's it's Squeenix that has Legacy of Kane, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Squeenix heads were talking in an interview about old IPs stuff that they're looking at bringing up because they've been looking at Capcom. I feel which those companies shouldn't really take anything. Well, from looking each at other. the bottom line. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and yeah, that's the thing is I'm I'm sure it's profitable. Yeah. But um, he said, you know, we, we have a lot of people in here that kind of grew up on, on Squaresoft and Enix games, and, and they look to those IP, and they're like, why can't we do this again? And so he was talking about Legacy of Kane is probably the one that they have yeah, but that the, was... most, the most enthusiasm for, mm-hmm. because it's a really fun series, and the story is surprisingly good. When was the last one that came out? 12 years ago? 15 years uh, ago? I, I, no idea, but um, it's it's also where Amy Hennig got started uh, writing story. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Which which is is awesome. And so so the the actual quote is something along the lines of, um, you know, if if we were going to bring one of those old series out, um, Legacy of Cain, fifty fifty, that's probably one we'd look at. Yeah, yeah. And and it's 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 far from a declaration of we're yeah. going to make this. Sure. Or that this is going to be a thing, but it is interesting to know that they're looking back and seeing what could be brought up because some of them really should be left in the past. But if you've got if you've got an interesting enough concept, there's no reason not to relaunch it. Yeah. And yeah. Legacy of Kane was, I mean, it, it, it's kind of janky to play and yeah. platforming and everything in the early 3D. But the concept and the story and the idea behind it yeah. is just as relevant now as it was. I feel like that's the game series that brought Crystal Dynamics grew up with. I mean, Crystal Dynamics had games before Legacy of Kane, but I feel like the Legacy of Kane series is where they really began to polish their skill level. Mm-hmm. Um, I would love to see Crystal Dynamics do a reboot of that. Mm-hmm. I don't want them to pick up where they left off with that story. I mean, how many games was like six, seven games? Or something, something like that. Yeah. And it, it was trying to lose the storyline. Reboot. Yeah, reboot. <laughs> reboot. Um, it's like Tomb Raider. It, it, yeah. it worked out really well for Tomb Raider. Yeah. yeah. That being said, is Crystal Dynamics too busy to do it? And I don't know if I would trust anyone else. I used to love Square Enix, but I don't know if I would trust any of the other uh, companies or teams they have to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the team to do it. Secret of Mana was uh, wasn't that Square? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's another one that could that could be brought up. Uh, yeah, that would be fun. Chrono yeah. Trigger. I, w- I would Chrono Trigger. That would be really great. I would I would love to see, and it's just me personally, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get hate for this. I would love to see Chrono Trigger rebooted. I would love to see it. You could remake it, but I would love to see. Let's reboot. Let's take the store, like take it and just maybe combine combine well, Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. I mean, realistically, Chrono Cross, yeah, it was a technical sequel, but yes. you could play Chrono Cross and they will even hold of Chrono Trigger yeah, and easy, perfectly fine. Yeah. And I feel like that's what they should do for this. For if they do another one, I agree. Yeah, well, I agree. I'd be okay with that as well because because you need this is this is a game that that missed certain generations, <laughs> uh, and that and um, I've only played a, a bit of. Uh, it's going to be in my backlog. <laughs> it is in my backlog. Um, but you have a game that has enough substance to it that that you could easily do a reboot or, like you said, a, a separate... Like Final Fantasy does. Yeah. Completely, mm-hmm. let's do Chrono, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then have a completely standalone thing that people then debate, should I play the others? You don't have to. Yeah. It's going to be completely fine, like Final Fantasy. I think the question, though, is, for me personally... Yeah. I was very disappointed in the Final Fantasy XIV trilogy they did. Yes. They haven't really done anything since then. I mean, they've got Final Fantasy XIV, which is a different, completely different yeah. approach. I feel like... 15. Yeah, I want to play 15 or Kingdom Hearts 3 before I would feel comfortable with the idea... Basically, they need to rebuild their faith yeah. me, for me. Yeah. yeah. I, 14's doing well. I, I've liked what I've played of it. Um... 13 I really didn't like. 13 left a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. And I'm really hoping that 15 um, brings it back. I'm I'm still... I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant. I, I, I really hope that it's good. Um, part of me really wishes I got the game that they showed 
um, what, four years ago, mm -hmm. five the, years ago? The original ago, versus 13 versus, release. Versus yeah. 13. Yes. Um, which uh, a lot of people, it's the same thing with um, The Last Guardian. You've given us, uh, you showed us something that was supposed to premiere on the PS3. Mm -hmm. It's still not out yet. It's going to come out. Some people, they, they've ready? lost faith. They've <laughs> lost faith in that, in that, in that IP at this point. Um, yeah. And it kind of suffers for it. Well, I mean, the, the other thing is, is um, you know, Eco and Shadow of the Colossus, mm -hmm. that, that, they haven't released a game in 15 years. No, they haven't. How are they still around? <laughs> And and that's the thing is like is like Sony just keeps giving the money to continue. I I I'd like to think that it's more than just a guy working in his basement. But that's two it's, guys. It's two guys. Yeah. Two, two, two guys. guys. Two guys. And one of them one of them just brings beer. <laughs> yes. oh, or sake. <laughs> Sorry, sake. <laughs> Racist? No. I like sake. I like sake <laughs> because I don't like Japanese beer. That's fine. <laughs> Japanese, Japanese had nothing to do with that. Awful. Sake is great. Japanese beer is not very good. Then again, they probably don't like American beer. <laughs> probably. Uh, most of the world doesn't, so. Yeah. Um, Especially the Australians. I feel like game <laughs> fails with fucking development hell, though. 90% of them come out awful. Yeah. Those are the 10% that come out great. Duke Nukem? Name one. Development hell greater than five years. I'll get back to you next week. <laughs> right, I, so next... I know there was one. Because I was thinking one the other day. Yeah. And I like this came out much better. Okay, than okay, okay, okay. Come up with it after the show, and we'll have, have <laughs> yeah, to pop, yeah, it pop it up right here. Okay. And then that'll be your argument. Yeah. Very fun. Right, yeah. Next next topic is we have the the game awards nominees mm -hmm. uh, have been announced. I've, I've looked through that list and. We're gonna. We haven't really talked about this much. We're gonna try to do something for yeah. Game of the Year, and because because now now we're, what what are we now? Huh? Are this we is press. Are we? Well, this is considered journalism, isn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 We're, we're journalists. We're journalists. <laughs> <laughs> so so we're we're gonna we're gonna try to figure that out. Uh, leave in the comments games that you think we might have missed, mm -hmm. um, and and we'll we'll try to have something about that. But um, I have my the, bets for following. Well, sorry, I kind of spilled out. Spoilers. Little, spoilers. Oh. <laughs> on what's going to be game of the year um but i think we we're going to do i think we should do an episode where we kind of wrap up all the the games the kind of hidden the misses ones that didn't do as well as they wanted ones that we think people should check out that they didn't get to check out if they haven't yeah. um and also the big big name game of the year stuff also tie in to gold plus roundup best free game for each console yes oh nice yeah okay. out of out of the whole list of yeah. everything that they offered in the year yeah let's okay what was the what was the best the best offering something good all right so anyway that's that's a fun list yeah. go go and check that out because there's there's a couple of gems in there that that did like you said kind of get buried yeah and so uh, a lot of those are worth checking yeah. out so kind of this, this so this is the i guess halfway point or i don't know how quickly we'll, we'll move through this we ramble a bit but uh this is the nintendo direct section uh we're gonna go over the different uh things that nintendo. were nintendo nintendo um, so the, the different things that were announced during Nintendo Direct, I, to me, I felt like this was kind of a weak Nintendo Direct. That's just me personally. Um, I liked it. I, I think there were a couple of big things, which I, uh, we kind of prioritized here as the things that we want to see kind of heavy hitters on the top here. Yeah. Um, the big one that people were loving, which I thought was okay. Uh, which I thought was confusing. Cloud <laughs> coming to Smash Brothers. Yeah. Um, yeah. I part partially because I thought, well, Cloud, should I get Sephiroth as well? Maybe it was just me. I would like it, that. It'd be cool if he was, if he was part of the game. ultimate. If, if if Cloud would hold your opponent up, Sephiroth would come out of the sky and yeah, stab like them a right team. through the heart. <laughs> oh, and just great. relive your most <laughs> one of your most oh, you know I traumatizing cry. moments. Well, it's, uh, with when they brought in <laughs> Zelda, you brought in Link and Ganondorf, right? Mm -hmm. And and now you have Cloud coming in, and I feel like Sephiroth should have been in there. I think this is it was cool that they announced that, but at the same time, I think this is only cool for the people who are really hardcore uh, for Smash Brothers. Because I'm a hardcore Final Fantasy VII fan, and I saw this and went, okay, well, the, the, I get it, I get it, I mean... The, the two fun things about it for me is, yeah. first off, Final Fantasy VII has still never been released on a Nintendo platform. Nope. Final Fantasy VII is the first that, when, when they have made their cha the change... Left Nintendo. Mm -hmm. uh, leaving Nintendo. So it, that, historically, that is it is why... a specific split. Yes. Um, and, and tied in with that... Is uh, Sony really wanted Cloud for PlayStation All Stars yeah. because he is an iconic PlayStation character, mm -hmm. and they couldn't get him. This is the only but reason. Nintendo, I it was cool. yeah. Nintendo does what 
Sony can't. can't. Sony don't. <laughs> I don't know. It, does, it doesn't tie in well. But so anyway. Sony don't. No, Sony don't. No, nope. 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 We're just going to drop no all that. Yep. <laughs> no um, way to go with that. And then the other fun thing about it is uh, they had the smash vote, you know, who do you want to see? Yeah. Cloud was, was in the running, but he wasn't like, he wasn't even in the top yeah. three. Which tells so, me that vote was completely useless. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> However... There's a December, and this is, this is skipping ahead a bit, sure. but um, the there's the December Nintendo Direct that's going to be exclusively about Smash Brothers. Yes. That's when we're going to see the vote list. Yeah. Or the so, vote uh, candidate. So right. I hope that whoever that, yeah, I mean, candidate help, obviously is going to get in there, but this is all still coming to Smash Wii U, um, mm -hmm. and I feel... And, and, which is which and, is doing really well. And mm -hmm. Presumably the 3DS one, right? I would assume so. I would assume so, but... Um, I feel it's not like, good to assume with Nintendo, though. No, no it's not. But my, I think that what Nintendo is doing right now, strategically, and, and you'll see this with the other, with most of the other things, if it comes to the Wii U, they're doing, they're they're coasting, mm -hmm. they're coasting purposely and stop gaps mm -hmm. and stop gaps. They're doing this purposely. What I, I think I know where you're going with this. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's because I wonder if this means that Nintendo and Squirrel will come together again on the next system, and maybe we'll see a Squirrel game. With the Nexus, whatever it's exactly what Wii U X, times yeah. two, or whatever they decided to actually yeah. call it. That's really actually what I was what I was going towards. I think that they're coasting because the NX is coming out. Whatever yeah. they're going to call it, the NX, which which Nintendo do not use Wii in this name. It's confusing people. Um, the Wii was great. The Wii U is a great console. I've really liked mm -hmm. it. Um, it's really really a blast. Um, After the thirty seconds it takes to turn on, yeah, it's it's. It's a simple system. It's supposed to be simple. <laughs> Why does it take so long to boot up? Because the hardware is so weak. Uh, Nintendo, Nintendo uh, doesn't yeah. have industry-leading chips. Nope, they don't. Nope, they don't. It's that chip storage of, of uh, eighty-nine again. Uh, yep. and it's the, still going on. It's still going on. They don't. They don't have chips there. Nintendo. Every, everywhere else in Japan has chips, but not Nintendo. Sony stole them all. Sony stole them all. Which um, that's where that whole thing started. Was after the when they were working on the Nintendo sixty-four. From then on, they've been playing. They 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 had a huge smash with the SNES, and from then on, mm -hmm. they have. In regards to hardware, they've been coasting and saying, "Well, we're a game company. Mm -hmm. Hardware's there, and hardware's only to the extent that we need the games." And I think that the NX. I really hope that this is going to be the big change for them. It's going to switch where they're actually going to have a powerful system. Handheld is alleged is supposed to be in with it, which is smart for them because you're selling two consoles for one. And that's where they make the money. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping for something completely different. You are. I hope that the NX is the last Nintendo console. I want them to make software. Software is what software they do better. Software is what Nintendo software does. Software is. Agree. If if they did that full time and they weren't trying to carry a system by themselves, yeah. what could we see from them? I, I know people used to say that about Sega, the exact same thing though. And look what happened. Yeah. Because I remember people used to be when Sega dropped. <laughs> People used to say Sega should stop doing hardware or just do software, but that's what yeah. they do best. And when I remember when they dropped hardware and they said only software, it was a huge deal. And people yeah. were all excited about which system would get which games. Yeah. And within five years, they blew all the goodwill. Yeah, they really did. They really did. Um, another that's, thing that, that is that is a good point. Though. Yeah, and that's what I feel like is what happened when it comes to to uh, Mario and those kind of games. And if it's it 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 would bother me. I. I, I see Nintendo is a software company. Nintendo is a games company. Mm -hmm. They happen to also sell exclusive hardware uh, that those games go on. They're the Apple of... They are. Of games. They are. Um, I never considered that. <laughs> I kind of like it. I like it. But they're, they're coasting uh, some of the other things that, that were announced. Twilight Princess HD is coming <laughs> to, to the Wii second U. announcement. The second announcement. <laughs> Twilight Princess HD is coming to Wii U. Um, with Wolf Link Amiibo, Amiibos are, are they're selling really well. I get I get they're pushing them. I have some. Uh, I, I have some. I have I have one. I'm gonna get a couple others. Um, but uh, so Twilight Princess HD, which looks looks great. Um, this is this is again they're they're coasting. They're they're trying to give us. It's what they did with Majora's Mask. Uh, with not Majora's Mask. Well, yeah, with Majora's Mask. So it's just a Zelda thing. thing. It's a Zelda thing. They're saying, let's keep putting stuff out until the okay. Zelda Zelda Wii U comes out, or which, I, which I've which i heard a lot of people speculate on this. I think Zelda Wii U, they're going to do the same thing that they did uh, with Twilight Princess. It's going to release on the, the Wii U and mm -hmm. the NX. Um, and one of them will be backwards. <clears throat> and, yeah. And not 
canon because Link's left-handed. Shout out to left-handers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But that's going to make three generations in a row that has Twilight Princess. Yes. Which, I'm not sure how I feel about that. So, well, hold on. <laughs> so Final Fantasy, no, it wasn't in a row, never mind. So I was going to say, you can get Final Fantasy um, 7 on, 7 and 8, you can get on PS3 and PS4. Not, sorry, not PS4. You're going to get 7 on PS4. Um, you can get 6 on PS1 through PS3. Yeah. You can get on PS2? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Because, and PS, you because PS1 games play on PS2. That's right. Oh, okay. But they won't update the graphics <laughs> okay. for each one. When it's in, yeah. They also have it on No, Android. because when they update the graphics, I get angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because because the, the Android and iOS graphics for 6, yeah. mm, they make me want to punch things. It's not, it's not what, you're, what you... It's not the characters well, it's, 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 it's a cheap... Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll talk they about it some other time. They changed I, the styles. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like it. I agree. Um, so again with Zelda, Zelda right. Wii U. They, they showed they showed 14 clips of him standing in a field. Yep. And 2016 is still coming. That field still looks they, nice though. And they did. Yeah. And, and it, they did. it really does though. <laughs> I think I'll agree. It looks great. Um, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful what they're showing is what we're gonna get. Yeah. Um, they did look well, pretty good with that though. I feel like they weren't with they weren't with Ocarina of Time. They weren't with Twilight Princess. Okay, so that goes with Zelda games. <laughs> that goes with Zelda games. Well, that's pretty irrelevant <laughs> so, to this conversation. No, not at all. But but the, the two things that they did um, more than they they showed us a field. It, it was it was new footage. It wasn't really anything new, but it it is you know doubling down on it's coming to Wii U. Yep. Yeah. And it's coming in 2016. Yes. And so and so I. And both of they'll, they'll talk about true. it. They'll talk about it later. Yeah. That's maybe not true. That's I, they're saying that it's true. I. I will believe it when it comes out. I believe it because I also think 2016 is when the NX is going to come out. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're going to have, they're, they're going to have to push it. They're going to say, we have to finish this thing. Mm -hmm. And it, hopefully it won't suffer for that. But I think that 2016, uh, looking at probably around fall, I think, I can like probably around that, when you're going to get a new. Yeah, are you gonna get NX? We, we have predictions. Some I, I have them written down yeah. somewhere. Like yeah. we called it out by month. Yeah, which was fun. Yeah, uh, I think you said October. I, th I think we had October. I said November. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I'm not mistaken, so I think that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna launch. Yeah. It's you're gonna get that. You're gonna get a bun. Uh, and here's another prediction. You're gonna have a, a Wii U, a a uh, more uh, discounted Wii U will launch around the same time. It may be in December for that. Mm -hmm. Maybe around for holidays where they'll say. Here's what they did with the Wii, essentially. Uh, the Wii has a very that, uh, tiny... Non, the non-internet... Yes. Yeah. Non-internet, non-GameCube Wii. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get that with Wii U. I don't know if it'll still have the... I think it'll still have the Wii capabilities on that, because they're really too, they're too close. Dude, that's um, going to be like a paragraph of prediction. <laughs> I'm just going to simplify that. My predictions... That, 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 when the, that when the NX comes out... Yes, shortly, there will be There will be a special, cheaper, yeah. reduced feature yes. Wii U yes. before the end of the calendar year. Before the end of the calendar year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what I'm putting down. Well, they we, have we, don't, we don't have a big enough... I'm not good with, I'm not good with pithy <laughs> predictions. Right, which My is... My predictions which is have why, caveats. Which is, <laughs> and that's also... You're, you're not good at succinct, which is why we have, we have <laughs> 17 <laughs> items on our list and we talk about them for, you know, an hour and a half. An hour and a half, yeah, yeah. for each um, one. Yeah. Um, so, another... Speaking of hour and a half, because I think this game can be beaten in an hour and a half. The Pokemon Mystery Dungeon yeah. was announced, and I love this. Love it's this. it's it's kind of cool. I like it. Um, it's they're really expanding, and I think some of the, some of the times that because like the the Pokemon Core series is iterative. They there's there's not a huge jump. It's the same structure. It's you you you, yeah. you get you collect you level up trainer collect yeah. level up train and, and, there, and, and like that's a very that's, loose story with it mm -hmm. that is that has to do with why you're doing it. Or anything that's actually going on in the world, yeah. but it's very it's it's more about the grind. Yeah, yeah. but um, they have things like and and we'll go ahead and bump this up because they there's there's a couple of there's a couple of Pokemon announcements, but yeah. mm -hmm. I think it's I think that Pokemon as a series is more interesting as a platform from which to to disperse different kind of games, mm -hmm. and this is and and Super Mystery Dungeon is a different kind of game than than the core Pokemon. Yeah. But I yeah. think it's it's of the things that they announce, it's closest to the core while still doing something interesting yeah. with it, and that's that's yeah. why I like it. And Super Mystery Dungeon exists in a world where there are just Pokemon. Mm -hmm. There, there. So, 
and they have, shops they have around towns, and, they have towns and, yeah. and it's all Pokemon that are no humans. Right. So they're not they're not just in grass or in balls. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the only life. place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we saw it on Row with Chicken. Pokemon so, Sudoku. Pokemon Sudoku is coming out. Um, it's it's official title is Pokemon Picross, and like they they showed they showed video of it, and it 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 really does look like Sudoku mm -hmm. with like pay to use. Like you throw you throw a Pikachu at it, and a portion of the screen is I don't know what this game is. Yeah. Um, it's I, I I believe they said it was going to be free to play, mm -hmm. um, and so that's you know another one of their, yeah. their diversions into that field. But that's coming to 3ds, and we'll see what that is when it comes out. I I'm, I'll try it out, but um, it doesn't look like it's my cup of tea. If it's free to play, then it's gonna it's hopefully going to resonate with the casual market. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it may be something fun to play on a plane or something. I don't know. Yeah. It's got to be a niche um, market for some it, it, it is. Right. There's, there's Sudoku games continue to sell, so... Mm -hmm. I mean... The, you can you buy one for $1.99. I don't know why buy have a free one on my phone. Yeah. 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 yeah it's perfectly fine. Yeah. It's perfectly yeah. fine. It's still Sudoku. Yeah. yeah. And then the last bit of, of uh, Pokemon news uh -huh. is uh, Pokemon Tournament is coming to, to Wii U. <laughs> and it's... And, this is also the first confirmation that it's coming to the U.S. Yeah. Because it started as an arcade game, Japan only, yeah. and um, it's uh, been on Namco. Yeah. I, I it to, is. I have to always Bandai, check right? it. Yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah. it used to be Namco Bandai. Now it's Bandai Namco, and my brain <gasps> switches it constantly. <laughs> It's but, like it's, but it's yeah. yeah, but it's alphabetical order, so I can I can verify that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's coming coming to Wii U, and uh, and it, it should launch in uh, in 2016. Mm -hmm. And and that's that's fun. Like I, I I like the idea of like move based and like seeing seeing the Mewtwo's and like uh, it's it it'll be interesting to see how much of Tekken is in it, how much of Smash Brothers is in it, and because I, I haven't actually seen the the game itself. I know it's been out for a while, but until I can play it, I don't want to look at it because then I'll just get upset. And even <laughs> if I'm looking at it, it, might not. I feel like full fighting games until you actually. Play it yeah, with Sam Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Definitely. Yeah. Although if you look at it, they all look the same. They, but they do. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't give you guys any comments for that. Oh, That's no. not what I meant, but you know. Recent fighters. Dissidia, Dissidia does not. Fair yeah. Enough. But <laughs> my recent fighters, if you show uh, the clips of uh, the latest Tekken and the latest, unless you're showing a very key character, mm -hmm. yeah. then they pr they do pretty much look yeah. the same. They all play different. They do but play different. They, do there's play only different. Some, they have the different flavors. There's only so much you can do with. If you wanted to have a realistic look at which they do, there's only so much you can do to set yourself a part of I mean, a, a fighting game to fighting game. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, so I have an update from Mario Maker that's coming out in December mm -hmm. uh, for allowing you to kind of search through. I, I've actually I don't I haven't minded the the way that they filter and you can favor people. Um, I, yeah, I but um, the the cool thing about this yeah. is you can exclude autoplay and music levels. That's nice. like that. Because and I ran that. Into that. that alone yeah. is it makes me happy. Because I would like to do. Uh, I want to do hundred Mario challenge with those two excluded. Yeah, and I feel like nineteen of the top twenty levels stalled or autoplay or music levels. Yeah, yeah. I've run into that a lot. The other things they did announce, uh, along with the the Pokemon uh, game, is um, some of the um, games that they've already talked about and kind of set some solid release dates on. Which it, which is cool because. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because because I said you know we're at, at E three which was was that their last direct or did they have they had one more they had one more they had, okay they had one other edition. anyway so uh, with with all that then they they've had a lot of it's coming in the future in this vague nebulous thing and so this was and, and this was part of the reason that I really liked this specific direct mm -hmm. is that they said okay here are dates. So yes. I'm gonna run through these real quick, and then uh, we're just gonna do it list form, and then we'll we'll talk about it. In First one's the one I'm upset about. <laughs> so go back. We'll okay. list. Okay. No, 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 you can, no, you can say it. Okay, so well, then I'll put that one last. Okay, so we have Twilight Princess HD is coming March 4th with the with the Wolf Link amiibo. We have uh, uh, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam is the 22nd of January. Final Fantasy Explorers is the 26th of January. Mega Man Legacy Collection is coming to 3DS. We didn't get a release date, but it'll be spring 2016. Uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow coming to 3DS on the 27th of February. Um, yeah, so those, those are the specific dates that they had. And then they had Dragon Quest 7 and 8 coming to finally, the U.S. Finally. 
And that that makes me so Which, happy. But then the last one really that, you, that you want to get upset yeah. with is uh, Star Fox Zero is marching uh, 422. It was supposed to come out at the end of November. Yep. And they delayed it six months. Um, I'm really hoping this game is good because, like we mentioned before, um, I'm, I loved Star Fox 64. Yeah. Um, I thought like Star Fox 64 is one of my favorite games to play on Nintendo 64, along with GoldenEye and a handful of others. Um, and it, it bothers me because I've been waiting for this for a while, and now I, I feel like if if it wasn't polished enough and you had to delay it six months, what is what is wrong with it? What are they that, that gives you that gives you time to like reformat a, a key system? Yes, yeah, yeah and that's, that's not what a, I feel like has yeah. probably been done, and I don't know what it is, but that those kind of things, when those kind of, of developments and shifts happen this close to release, yeah. that's not a polish. something. Yeah, something yeah. something has has was fundamentally wrong with it. Yeah, that if, they're trying to fix. If this was anyone besides Nintendo, I'd be more worried. Yeah, I, I Nintendo, I have for me personally has lots of goodwill because they for the Nintendo developed games. Yes, I might I might like all of them because maybe it's not something I'm into, mm -hmm. but the quality. Yes, they are. They are. When it comes to Nintendo games, they are very consistent in that. Rarely do I find one that that is just a, a huge letdown. You don't. They don't release broken games. Either. They they don't. They don't yeah. and. I, I will give them that. Most of my problems with Nintendo deal with the way that they deal with their hardware mm -hmm. and the way... The business decisions. Business, business decisions and, and Reggie. Mm -hmm. I got yeah. <laughs> the, actually, um, okay, so they introduced... I, I'd never seen this guy on a Nintendo Direct, but Bill in the Nintendo Direct. Yeah. I like him. I like him. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want more of that guy. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, if, if, he, if he's kind of helping and, and he's taking some of the spots that Reggie would have taken otherwise, yeah. um, I'm... He's, he's reading from the same script. It's still just as obvious that he's reading from a script. But I still felt like he was more personable yes. than Reggie was. And he seemed genuinely excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Reggie, Reggie has his his point, yep. his gesture, yep. and his... Those are his three <laughs> motions that he does. And and Bill was kind of talking animated. And like he, he did different things with his hands that didn't feel like that they were pulled out of, you know... This is what this is what the character of Reggie, <laughs> Reggie is allowed Bond. to do. Reggie you can Bond, pick yeah. from these three emotes. Well, you got A button, B button, and C button. Like you said, Genesis controls control him. Yeah, <laughs> and so the screen went up a Genesis. So, so, <laughs> so, so Bill so apparently has more emotes. And, and as soon as that mo as soon as that button comes by the screen, you press it, and then Reggie yeah. does the thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm curious if maybe the new loose up in Nintendo's being to realize maybe Reggie's not the greatest face person. Yeah. Because obviously. And so keeping him around, obviously he's got to know his stuff on the backside, right? And, and so I, maybe I, they'll just give him a new face, which is you can you can give anyone full face if you want, you know, yeah. take his face off. Yeah. Well, maybe, <laughs> okay, he's from V, and he's an alien. He might be. He might be. It would make sense because he's that disconnected from <laughs> from us. Yeah. Um, I. I so anyway, so I, I really appreciate that. If you if you didn't get a chance to go back and watch the direct, watch watch that. And and you know, I'm I'm gonna try to find Bill on Twitter and be like, hey, thanks, you did well. And yeah. that's that's the thing. It's like he needs that feedback. Especially mm -hmm. now, I feel like Nintendo might be starting to listen to us. Yeah. We need to be just as loud as we've been to each other to them. And, and the if, positives if, as well. They yes, hear the positives. Positive, yeah. They hear a lot of negatives. So. <laughs> yeah. And so so constructive things and, and compliment on what you want to see more of. Yeah. Applied behavior analysis. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> exactly. Uh, one thing we didn't go over though, Linkle. Oh, yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Linkle, Linkly, Linkle, right? Linkle. Okay, Linkle. That's what I'm yes. So um, awful name, but great idea. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Great yeah. idea. Yeah. Um, you have a female character who is a female version of Link. It mm -hmm. is not, let's make her scantily clad. Nope. It no, is just, she's, she's, she's a female Link. Done. And she has two crossbows, and she looks awesome. Yeah. She's, she is separate, similarly themed, yes. and she, she, she looks like a badass. Yes, she and, does. Like, she, she does her spin kicks without like showing like cami legs. Mm -hmm. And, well, I mean, it's Nintendo. We weren't going to see that anyway. But I like I like the fact that that they've created a... A character that is that is similar enough that you can tell that it's kind of the same thing, but she is also separate and badass in and of herself. Yeah. I want her to have her own games. Yeah, that'd be cool. I want I want her as an option. 
when I start a Zelda game. That'd be cool. See, I'm thinking I mean, more why, like... Why can't she yeah. sell the pre- yeah. Yeah. princess? Yeah, it doesn't I, matter. Because, yeah. yeah. Link is historically a, a blank slate mm-hmm. protagonist, yeah. right? Very, so, very blank state. Very much blank state. <laughs> you can do the exact same thing with that. I mean, yeah. I think you can. Yeah. So, yeah. so we, we would like to see that, and, and that's, that's another thing that we can applaud them for being like, yay, that's cool, check that out, because, um, you know, my girls know Link, they, they have a little Link plushy doll thing. I would love for them to, to attach to this character as well, and be like, this could be me, I can be the hero, because yeah. cause Zelda, Zelda's cool, Sheik is cooler, but Linkle as the hero, the hero. Yes. Yeah, I like that With Sheik, idea. though, you have to play a good amount into the story to realize... Because if, uh, and this happens a lot with, with, with younger spoilers gamers. Spoilers for Ocarina of Time. Spoilers. <gasps> but this happens a lot with younger gamers that, um, like, even when I played uh, Ocarina for the, for the first time, I spent so much time in just the very beginning parts because it was, it was harder for me. Mm-hmm. It's harder for, for, for kids. So they might not beat the game. They might not get that far in the game. So they yeah. might not realize this person this whole time was actually the princess. Mm-hmm. And realizing that, that she... It's not that she couldn't rescue herself. Right. She was helping you the whole time mm-hmm. because you needed to. You needed to do it, and you couldn't have done it without. You her. couldn't have no, done it without her. You couldn't have. Yeah. So that's canon. It is. It is. And so the, the next Nintendo Direct is going to be in December. It's fo- mostly focused on Smash Brothers. It's entirely, it's entirely focused on. It, it okay. is. It is a Smash Brothers Direct. So we will report on it, and I will go. Eh. Um, I like <laughs> Smash Brothers. I like Smash Brothers. I'm not a hardcore Smash Brothers fan. Um, it's it's fun. Um, but I, I can only get my butt kicked so much. Okay. I'm with you. I I, I appreciate it <laughs> yeah. for what it is, mm-hmm. but yeah. I buy it for a party game. Like I, I have yep. Smash, I have it on Wii U yeah. for those re- for those reasons. Because it's it's a fun party game and, and I think I guess we're all in that kind of boat where yeah. it's fun, but we get it handed to us. So yeah. we should all three play Smash. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> It'd be the longest game ever. the best of the moves, yeah. <laughs> No then time we, Then we all get killed no by the CPU. Limit. We'll get killed by the CPU, um, or we'll kill ourselves by accidentally falling off. Or one of your dollars picks up the controller and beats us off. Right. <laughs> all right, so uh, the last thing I want to do, um, this, is, this is kind of a new thing I just thought of. Yeah. Um, so I want to I know your your overall thoughts on, on the, the Nintendo Direct as a whole, and then I also want to know what was your favorite thing that came out of it. So, okay. since I, I've had about 30 more seconds to think about this than either of you, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and go <laughs> first. I, uh, I, really liked, I really liked Bill and like the, the direction that it took. It still had the, the fun Nintendo charm bit, but I felt like it was a lot more snappy and here's news. It wasn't just, hey, aren't we fun? Remember how fun we used Look to be? Look at the puppets. Right, which <laughs> is what he was. Yeah. It was the, the attention was not on games. It was on how cute Nintendo is. I feel like this was was a step forward, and obviously they've had more time than they usually do for directs. But I felt that it was it was more attention to news and giving me things that I wanted to hear. Yes. Um, my favorite thing out of this has got to be Dragon Quest Seven VII and Eight, because we've been asking for those for oh so long. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've I've I have a three DS that I borrow sometimes, it is, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> But this this might be the thing. Dragon Quest Seven and Eight might be the thing that make me pick up a 3DS because I want to play those games, and that's something that I can pour hundreds of hours into, and it's also something that I can play casually and I can grind through whenever the you know the somebody else is watching TV, and that for me is what a 3DS is. Yeah. So that those are my thoughts. I feel like that they will do a house cleaning. Yeah, I feel like they know they got this new system. They're gonna probably announce E three ish. If not, maybe they'll make actual presents E three. Which, eh, would, if, if, you, if you have a new console launch, I could see them doing that. It would maybe. be a huge change, but yeah, I could but see them. <clears throat> but I feel like they've got okay. So what do we need to put dates on? What we you business do we need to clean up? And I feel like this was a house cleaning. Yeah, a okay. good house cleaning. Because, I mean, but also they got all these games where we've been told, it's coming, it's coming. They're like, okay, we've got to put dates on these things. Yes. Because we have to have all this taken care of before all big announcement. Mm-hmm. Is once that announcement comes, they nothing know else nothing matters. else matters. Yeah. And nobody's going to kill what comes out on the Wii U between when it launches, when the next system's announced, mm-hmm. and when it launches. So that five-month window, maybe? That's true. 
there's going to be a dead zone for yeah. Nintendo because they've got to concentrate on that launch. Yeah. I feel like they want to get everything out ahead of time. Yes. Um, and Dragon Quest have yeah. as well for me. <laughs> well, no, but you're, you're, I was going to say you're right because once they announce NX, once they announce, hey, it's coming in October, it's coming in November, whenever they're whenever they're going to say it. As soon as that happens, the sales are going to drop. Mm -hmm. lame, lame duck console. Yeah, it is. It's going to be lame duck. It's the same thing that happened with the with the Saturn. Mm -hmm. That's why the Saturn lost. Because the Saturn came out, uh, same thing with the uh, the um, uh, 32X for for Genesis. Mm -hmm. 32X launched in America, and the Saturn launched in Japan. Yeah. So yeah. people said, "Why bother? Why bother? Why I can I? wait. I can wait. I'll get the Saturn." Same thing when the Saturn came came, uh, came out to the uh, to the U.S. and they said, "You know, the Saturn isn't our future." So <laughs> it, you have a it's going to be a lame duck console at that point if if the Wii U isn't already. Um, yeah, it is. Well, it, it kind of works kind of, because even though they haven't officially announced it, they've told us that it exists, yes. that it's coming soon. Yes. And there's no big news. I mean, we got uh, the Mario game close to the beginning of the Wii U. Mm -hmm. We have got a, Zel a proper Zelda game. We've got a remake. We're going to have two remakes before we We haven't got a Metroid game on the system. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't got a Pokemon game on the system. No. We... It, this system, I feel like at one very early on, Nintendo was like, "Oh crap!" Yes, Oops. and they uh, all the big franchises. I feel like they were like, "Okay, you guys need to begin working on something else. Work on some, work on something else, and get it really well." Because the, when the NX, if they do it right, the NX can just blast everything else out yeah. of the water. Um, if if it's strong enough. So my favorite thing again uh, was kind of similar to you guys. It's almost like bullet points. They're like, "Here's the bullet points. We need to hit these. Here's the here's um." Uh, here's the dates for these. Here's really, really succinct in in. Hey, we got this new uh, fi new Final Fantasy uh, uh, Explorers. Explorers kind of crawly thing. It was cool. Here's a new Pokemon thing. And it was very quick. Here's to show you a little bit of it. And we're not going to do a bunch of filler. I really liked that. Um, it, it felt like the entire thing, while it may have not been stuff uh, material that I really want to dig my teeth into, at least it was filled. It was not. It didn't have segments that I was like, okay, they're filler. Um, I have two favorite things on this because Zelda Wii U was not I didn't I only got stuff that I'd pretty much seen already uh, yeah. I didn't get anything solid on that Twilight Princess I think it's, it's going to be cool I hope they redo the, the soundtrack in that that's one of my things that I'd like mm -hmm. to see uh, clean that up a little bit the graphics look good but honestly my favorite thing of this was that I wasn't hit over the head with Amiibos the entire time <laughs> because E3 yeah. Amiibo Amiibo I mean every five minutes I was seeing a new Amiibo and Amiibos are great for the people who like this. They're great for two things. If you like the franchise already, you're going to probably buy the Amiibo. I have a Link Amiibo. I haven't even used as, used in regards to the games because I wanted the Link Amiibo. Um, or you're going to find the hardcore collectors that are going to buy stuff because they want to collect Amiibos. Mm -hmm. um, got to catch them all. Got to catch them all. So there were two Amiibos, right? Three. The That one, mm -hmm. the, the Village... Village people collection oh, from Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Animal. Yeah, that. Yeah. Sorry, I don't. I don't follow that franchise. I don't, I don't. <laughs> the the village the thing. Village, 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 the thing. village. The village. The village. Village people. people. <laughs> <laughs> I would okay. like that. Village people amiibos. <laughs> Give them to us. We'll buy them. <laughs> I will. Um, and then there's there's some other set that was that was connected yeah. to uh, to the other thing. They but, were um, quick. We weren't beaten over the head with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just hey, almost. They're an hour. coming. Yeah, it was almost an hour. We only heard about three. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the wolf one. I'm, uh, I'm I'm not huge. Twi I'm, Twilight Princess was good. Um, mm -hmm. I'm probably I'm not gonna buy the the Wolf Amiibo. It's cool though because there are a lot of people. Twilight Princess is is a huge game for them. I want to put I want to put Wolf Link into my Mario Maker stages. That would be cool. That would be cool if it could be done. So let us know what Amiibos you have or like or uh, what you thought about the Nintendo Direct. Are you looking forward to the Smash Brothers Nintendo Direct? Um, is there something that they haven't mentioned in here that we haven't mentioned in either that you want to see Nintendo do? Uh, Tell us in the comments. Yeah. yeah. So, have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Later. We're out. So that, that goes to another thing. If if you've been watching our, our, our stuff, uh, you'll notice I don't put, uh, we don't put uh, Nintendo footage in here, because Nintendo <laughs> will kill you for it. Um, yeah, but Seth Green's cool. He'll let you throw a robot chicken. Oh, yeah, he's fine with that. Um, we get, uh, this is, I'll be really quick about this, we get um, uh, copyright, copyright strikes, strikes yeah. constantly for putting up promotional materials that that company put out 
to promote their materials. I think Nintendo's loyals are waiting in the hallway. I think right they now. are. <laughs> I've heard them. So uh, we on the show, if we don't have uh, our own footage of it, I will take promotional materials which are legally allowed to be used. We this is a, this is journalism. It's completely in fair use. We still get uh, a copyright strike about once. Uh, if, if every other week or so. You do realize you're arguing with a bot, right? I'm, I'm <laughs> arguing, but, but if, what, what happens is if you contest it, then uh, that can, then you contesting it goes to the person who who's, owns the copyright, who owns the copyright on it, and if they decide you're wrong, they take you to court. Then you can prove that it's not theirs. Yeah. So you don't, you can't, <laughs> Prove to them, hey, this is why it's here. This is fair use. This is the article. If you look in all the descriptions of our, of our videos, it has the specific part, uh, uh, law for it. It is fair use. It is journalism. I'm promoting your stuff. But Basically, if you don't have me. a dumb truck of money, you it, can't win. Ex exactly. Yeah. Um, the whole Nintendo partnership, has uh, YouTube has to do with that as well. So yeah. um, so you'll see little little pictures instead. So enough of that rant. Uh, back to Pokemon. 